This program is dedicated to those that paid for their lives at the hands of the state. special edition of Silent Voices. This is our 2013 Christmas presentation. Christmas is a sad time for many of us throughout this nation that have lost children and grandchildren to the state without abuse and neglect being involved. Having a Christmas show here at Silent Voices was very difficult for us to do. One of our thoughts as we prepared for a Christmas show was allowing parents and grandparents to say Merry Christmas to their loved ones that are missing from their families. Let us take a look at some of these greeting cards and we will be viewing them throughout our telecast. My name is Adina Carl. I am 35 and I would like to wish Aubrey Tucker, Dayton Tucker, and Bracey Carl a very Merry Christmas. I love you guys. I miss you guys. I remember our last Christmases and I will not have a Christmas until it's us again. I love you guys. Hi, my name is Lita Borghese, and I'd like to wish my daughter a Merry Christmas, Rio Marcella Borghese, who is my true peanut, peanut butter and jelly. I miss you very much, Peanut, and I can't wait for you to come home and have Christmas with me. I decorate every year for you, hoping that you will come home and that we'll be waiting for you every year, every holiday, will always be as special as you remember. I love you. Hope to see you soon, sweetheart. year, as in previous years, Legally Kidnap has presented the news weekly in the child welfare industry. Truly, Legally Kidnap is the leader of the child welfare news. If we had an award show, LK truly would be up for an Oscar. We have a piece from LK today that is very fitting for our Christmas program. From baby LK, Here's a CPS Christmas Carol. Good evening. Once upon a time, there was an evil and wicked CPS agent who was finishing up some paperwork. Merry Christmas, Sally the Social Worker. Ah, uh, humbug. I'm sure you don't mean that. Oh, but I do. I hate this time of year. 
All you hear is all the whining from all the bio parents who want to see their kids on Christmas and from all the kids who want to see their parents and blah, blah, blah. You can't be serious, Sally. I just tell them no. I mean, there's no sense in bringing about extra work for myself. Besides, I have to get a few more of these kids adopted out or I'm not going to get squat for a bonus this year. Oh, you are such a sinister soul. Normally, I would love it, but it is Christmas, so I'm going to celebrate with my family and thank God that I'm not one of the parents who crosses your path. So the CPS agent finished up her paperwork and headed for home. Bye, humbug. Oh, dear CPS agent, I am begging you. Please let me see my children on Christmas. Tiny Timmy is so sick and little Jane is so scared. It was always such a special day for us before you took them away. But I told you that would be impossible. Besides, I don't think it's in the kid's best interest to see you. But I have done everything you asked. I have gone to counseling and passed every drug test you threw at me. I have jumped through every single one of your coops. I'm begging you, please let me see them. No, now run along before I call the police and accuse you of harassment. I'm warning you, what goes around comes around. If you don't show some heart soon, you will die a sad and lonely woman. How dare you threaten me! Later that night, the evil wicked CPS agent had been sitting home alone watching TV when she became tired. My, I'm so tired. I think I'll go to bed and dream about what I'm going to do with all of that adoption bonus money. But although she planned on having a peaceful night's sleep, on this particular night, it wasn't going to happen. Oh, I'm so tired. I'm going to sleep now. Sally the social worker, you are a vile and evil woman. Who the hell are you? I am the ghost of the kid who died in foster care. But that wasn't my fault. I'm immune from liability in regards to that sort of thing. Beware of your sinister actions and your icy heart. For if you don't change your wicked ways soon, you will not only die a sad and lonely woman, but you will suffer an even more horrible fate. Oh, Bull, I am a CPS agent. I protect children from abuse and neglect. I am a hero. You are evil and wicked and everybody sees it but you. This is your final chance to change your evil ways. Tonight you will be visited by three spirits. Each will take you on a journey so that you may examine your life. I'm fine with my life. Beware. Beware. A little while later, the CPS agent was fast asleep in her bed when suddenly... Wake up. Who are you? What do you want? I am the ghost of CPS past. I will take you on a journey through your past. But what if I don't want to go? You have no choice. You will come with me now. What the heck? We are at a home of a mother whose kid you stole away, in a time before any reports were ever made about her. But she's not supposed to be spending Christmas with her kids. They're going to be adopted. I'm taking those kids back right now. Calm down. They can't see or hear you. Tomorrow is Christmas and Santa is coming, so you will have to go to bed early tonight. Is he really coming tonight, Mama? Yes, he is. Do you think Santa will bring me a new dolly? Maybe. Now off to bed. You don't want to miss him. Hooray! I love you, Mama. I love you too, Tiny Timmy. Hmm. They look very happy. They were very happy. So what happened? Well, actually... You did. There was a blinding flash of light, and the CPS agent found herself back home, waking up from a sound sleep. Oh my god, what a horrible dream. I assure you, that was no dream. Oh, not again. I am the ghost of CPS present. I have come to show you your present. Go away, please. I've had quite enough of this already. You must come with me now. What are we doing back here? Look and see the pain you've caused her. Oh, boo-hoo! That evil, wicked CPS agent! How could she do this to my family? This is the worst Christmas ever! Hey, she did this to herself. I will get her if it's the last thing I ever do. Ah! Do you know where we are now? Yes, we're at Little Jane's foster home. Look and see the pain you've caused her. 
I really just want to see my mummy and brother for Christmas. I'm sorry, little Jane, but the CPS agent said no. Well, maybe we can go see my mummy and not tell the CPS agent. Oh, no. I would never go against the wishes of a CPS agent. She knows best, you know. <laughs> I'm sorry, little Jane, but the answer is no. I still say it was her mother's fault. Do you know where we are now? Yes, we're at Tiny Timmy's group home. Look and see the pain you've caused him. Oh, please, Mr. Ghost of CPS present. I assure you, I get the hint. I've seen enough. Watch. Did you ask if my mommy can see me? I did, I'm sorry. But that CPS agent just won't budge. Oh, please make it happen. I wish I could. I have nothing left to live for. Oh, please don't talk like that, Tiny Timmy. Christmas is supposed to be a happy time. It used to be back when I was with my mommy and sister. Uh, um, uh, um. Then there was another blinding flash of light, and the CPS agent found herself back home in her bed. Oh, thank God. What crazy dreams I'm having tonight. Who are you? Oh, let me guess, you must be the ghost of CPS Future. Oh, the mother's house again. Here's your mail. Thank you. We regret to inform you that Tiny Timmy died last week from complications to his psych meds. Signed, Sally the Social Worker. The mother died too? But how? Is it my fault? I'm dead too? But how? Why? Hello, I'm from Child Protective Services. Oh, please tell me that I can fix all of this. Please tell me that I can fix it. I promise I will change my evil ways and only help families from this day. The CPS agent woke up totally freaked out by all of this. She was so freaked out that she decided to change her evil ways and suddenly found herself determined to fix every wrong she had ever done. Oh my god, what a night. I hope I'm not too late. What do you want? Come on, we haven't a moment to lose. Bring little Jane out, quick. Mommy! Oh, little Jane. Oh, how I missed you. Come on, we haven't a moment to lose. Mommy, little Jane! Oh, tiny Timmy, how I missed you! But why are you doing this? I thought you would never let me see them again. I changed my mind. In fact, I've decided to give you your kids back and put you all into a family preservation program. Do you mean it? Why, yes, I do. Oh, Mommy, that is wonderful news! Well, happy day, and God bless us, everyone! So the CPS agent gave the mother her kids back and gave her all the help that she needed, including the best medical care for Tiny Timmy, who got all better and grew up big and strong. And they all lived happily ever after, except for the CPS agent, who still got eaten by a pit bull while trying to steal another kid the next week. Margaret Garcia and this is my husband Jose Garcia and we'd like to give a Christmas greeting to our grandchildren Joshua Garcia and Alyssa Sandoval Garcia we hope that someday that we can have a real Christmas with both of you with the family and I'd also like to tell one proverb of 17 verse 6 that the grandchildren are a crown to the grandparents. Thank you. Hi, Mohammed, Sekum, Kia, Merry Christmas. I wish you guys Merry Christmas. 
Do you remember our first, our last Christmas at the living room when we was opening the Christmas gift? We all was laughing. So I just want to say Merry Christmas to you guys. I hope someday we guys will open another Christmas again. We all as a family. Thank you. I love you. Say Kunkia Mohammed. Christmas and other holidays are a sad time of the year for parents and grandparents that have lost their loved ones to the state without abuse and neglect being involved. Our next piece shows exactly what one goes through during these times when others are celebrating. From second class citizen Terrence Pop, here's a phantom holiday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Alexa. Happy birthday to you. I love you, baby. I hope to see you soon. The bike you'll never ride, the bed you'll never sleep in, the room you'll never see, the father you'll never know, the father I was never allowed to be. My name is Dennis Lawrence, and I would like to wish my granddaughters, Sabrina and Fantasia, a very Merry Christmas. In 2008, the both of you were taken two months before Christmas. We had so many plans to spend with our granddaughters that year. You were taken the day before Halloween. You never got to wear those costumes that we had bought for you. Every year, we put out a candle in our windows at Christmas time, thinking of you. Someday we will reunite, and that'll be a joyous day for us. Grandma and I are always thinking about you. Have a very Merry Christmas.
My name is Sally Borghese, and I'd like to wish my granddaughter, Rio Marcella Borghese, a very Merry Christmas. We miss you, sweetheart, and Granny will love you forever and ever and evermore, just like we always used to say to each other. Merry Christmas, and we're waiting for you to come home. Right now, we're going to go to a film strip of some of the children that have been lost during the past years. Let's take a look and wish these children a very Merry Christmas.
Judith Fay. I'm a child ad advocate for our parents and children. For children who are missing their parents and parents who are missing their children during the holiday season, we need to let parents and children never forget parents and family where they were born and loved. Children need their heritage and families to grow up and know who they are while growing up. Parents never forget the children who when taken away from them. This is the natural law. Children have a right to the love of parents, brothers and sisters, and grandparents and uncles and aunts and cousins. Know you are in our hearts and prayers and we are working for you. Have a blessed and Merry Christmas. I want to thank everybody for watching our Christmas presentation this year. It's been quite an eventful year for us here at Silent Voices and we look forward next year to serving you where people can come on public access television and the internet and tell their stories of the abuse in the, in the child welfare system. If you have any comments, if you'd like to be a, a guest on our program, you can email us at miparentalrights at gmail.com. That's miparentalrights at gmail.com. We also have a social network I'd like to see you join. That's at miparentalrights.ning.com. That's miparentalrights.ning.com. Until next week, my friends, remember, your voice can make the difference.